Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna show you how to FRP bypass the LG Q720 running Android 10. Uh, this is a style of five. There's probably gonna be other names for it as time goes on a little bit, um, as well as this could work for any LG running Android 10 at all. It could work for other Samsungs and other devices running Android 10, um, but this is just specifically how to do just that for now. All right, you want to go through this whole thing. You want to go ahead and sign into your Wi-Fi. Um, it does require an internet, uh, Google search, a couple other things that we're gonna have to do on the internet. So definitely just go ahead and do that. Uh, in this also, I'm gonna show you how to do the PUK uh, setting for your SIM card. Cause a lot of videos where they're doing this now, they're just putting a SIM pin card in and telling you you have to enter your SIM pin. And of course, the only way you can get your SIM pin is by calling your carrier, unless you already know it, of course. Um, but you know, if you wanna do this a little bit easier, uh, we don't have to wait for all that. So let me show you real quick on how to do that. I'm on any Android, you really, you can do this also on an iPhone of any degree, but I'm just, everything I'm doing is off the Android today, so I'm just showing you both on Androids. You just simply go to settings and you type in SIM lock. Go here. You're going to go to turn it on. It's going to tell you there's three attempts. So go ahead and just put in whatever you want. Turn it on again. It'll tell you two. And the last one, when you turn it on again, we'll say the last one. Then it'll lock the SIM down to the SIM pin. And that's all you got to do. Again, you don't have to have any clue what the PUK code is in this case. You just need one that's going to be locked down like that. All right. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna be doing everything to bypass this based on the pin number. So now we can go ahead and cancel this out and just back all the way to the front. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that SIM card and get it already ready to go by putting it in here. Okay, now when it comes up, it's gonna come up to this screen to enter the PUK code that you locked down. And you don't have to enter it in, you don't have to hit the power button, you don't have to hit nothing, just take it out. That's all you gotta do. Then you're gonna slide down. You're then gonna hold the Bluetooth button down, which is way on the top up there. You're gonna hold it down, it's gonna bring up your Bluetooth, and then turn it on. Now over on your other phone, and again, we're gonna use a Samsung. iPhones tend to not connect to Androids very well. So we're trying to do Android to Android. Um, we're gonna go to Bluetooth real quick. Yep. We're going to pair it to the S7 that we're playing with. Okay, and pair. All right, now that that's done, get all the way out and go to Chrome. And what you need to do is you have to type this in specifically. I'm already there, but type in first cousin, just as you see it right there. The first image that comes up, go to it. I'm holding down the screen to where download image pops up. That way then it's downloaded. And notice that it says cousin tree in the name of the file. That's what you're looking for. It needs to say cousin somewhere in the name of the file. Once that's done, uh, go back to, oh, now you go to gallery and you wanna move the photo. So this photo right here, you just go to it. You hit the share, which is the little three dots right there. And then just hit Bluetooth. On the phone, we're gonna go ahead and hit that. And then it'll come up saying, accept it. You wind up accepting it. It transfers the file. It's a smaller file, so you don't really have to worry about time. You hit the three dots on the top and you hit received files. That's where that's gonna be. Then you go to it. We don't need to use gallery at all, so just hit photos and then hit always. Allow the device to get in there like that. All right, now notice how the little eye is at the bottom here. This just gives details. There's gonna be something that's gonna change there and that's what we're gonna be looking for next. The old way on Android 9, how you did this is you hit the share button there, you would hit Gmail, you would then skip, add an email address, you'd say exchange, you would type in anything you wanted at anything else you want .com, hit set up manually and you would hit select where then you would hit change and it would ask you to put in a pin number and a fingerprint and all that other stuff. On here, when you hit select, 
it goes to a file. So they figured out how to patch that to where it was going to not be the same way for us here on Android 10. So then I just back all the way back out to the photo again. Now you notice the eye is gone. So I back out one more time, go back into it one more time, and now it's turned into what looks to be a little camera icon. Hit that. This little Google Lens pops up, and you'll see Related Content Cousin. That's what you're going to want to touch. Then when you touch that, you'll see Google Search. So you're going to want to touch that. Unselect all that, accept and continue, no thanks. Now this is a half like Google window. This isn't a real one. So what I do here is then I run over to YouTube. Now the link will be at the bottom of this video, um, but I have one in another one of my videos just to help us out right now. Uh, go to the installed YouTube and then when go to the top where it says search. Now what you want to type in is me. Because again, like I said, I'm the one putting the link. And so at least I know there's a Google link in one of my videos. If you can't find it in this video specifically when you're doing a search, go over here to the one that says 279,000 views. Pull that one up. Just make sure to get all this stuff off here. No thanks. Hit the X there. Make sure to hit the arrow here to drop down my description and go all the way to the bottom where you see Google.com. Hit Google.com. It'll bring Google up for you. At that point, you want to type in uh, quick shortcut maker space and then APK. You're going to hit go. Um, I usually look for AP uh, Pure is who I like to download from, but APK Mirror works just as well. Now this is gonna be an older version. It'll tell you that when you go to do the download, but just do it anyway. It's not It's not gonna hurt anything. Download the APK. It'll start here now. Hit OK. Then when it's done, hit Open. Yep, tell you all about the settings. Turn that on, hit the back. Then hit Install. And then when it allows you to, open it. There we go. Yep, see, it's built for an older version. Doesn't matter. Not for what we need it for. It doesn't make any difference. Now what you do is you go all the way down to settings. All right. Now when you hit that, it's going to bring up a whole bunch of settings. All I did is I went right to this one. So the second one, if you look at the string, it says uh, settings slash com Android settings settings. You almost want the one that says settings settings. So when you go to that and you hit try, it brings up your settings. Now what you want to do is you literally want to hit fingerprints and go ahead and put something in. For the pin number, go ahead and put no thanks to that next and put, I'm just doing zeros, makes life a little bit easier if we just put a whole bunch of zeros in there. And now it's going to want you to do the fingerprint. So go ahead and take it and obviously on the back here you have a fingerprint scanner. Go ahead and scan your fingerprint into it. It'll take a little bit because you got to get it just right and it's got to go all the way to 100%. So make sure you're just using all different parts of your finger, of course, to get it done faster. And then when it's 100%, hit OK. And now supposedly it would be done. Now from here, you don't have to reset the phone or nothing. Literally just back all the way out of this thing. Just keep hitting the back. It's on your bottom left there. So just keep doing it over and over and over again until you get all the way back to your welcome screen. Then at your welcome screen, just go ahead and do it as if we were doing this from the start and you knew the code and all this other stuff. It'll come here again, don't copy. When it goes into checking info, now it'll come up with the pin code and type in the four zeros you just put. You're gonna hit okay. And the next screen you'll see is another place where you can put in your Gmail now, or you can just skip it. Oh, more, accept. This is just gonna help you guys get to the very end of this. Hit okay, it's completing and adding the finishing touches and from here it'll literally have your screen back to normal where you can utilize your phone. I would advise you guys to just go in and hard reset it from there. 
Um, that way then you can set it up as if there was absolutely nothing on the phone and it's, and it's crisp install everything. Um, if this works for other models for you, please comment and let me know what other models that this actually worked for, makers as well. Uh, so that way then I can add that more to the description so more people can find this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and, and thanks for watching.